Hiya guys, it's Talon here. Been playing around for the last few days with Market Tycoon. Really fun little game, full of little bugs and glitches, but it's very, very playable. And one thing I was messing around with this morning, which I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on, uh, is they've integrated the Steam Workshop, which means that essentially you can add uh, your own items into the game. So I thought, <sighs> it's very, very simple to do if you know how, and I'm going to tell you how to do it right now. So the first thing we're going to have to do is... Jump onto a website called TurboSquid. So TurboSquid.com. What this does is there's lots of free 3D models, and this is the easiest way to do it. I won't be showing you how to design, you won't need any skills like that. So let's say, for example, you see I've got a few downloaded here already. You want to add um, a new type of drink into the game. So I've already added Pepsi earlier, we'll go with 7 up this time. So what you do is up here, find something along the lines of uh, can soda and it will come up with a lot of lists. Now you will see a lot of these are actually quite expensive, 199, 179 but what we'll do is narrow this down to free and this one here is the one that I used so when you download this what you'll see, I've gone to my account really quickly it'll give you various options what we're interested in uh, two in particular, which is the .obj and .pepsi.jpg. I've already downloaded these, so we'll have a look at those. And this is what it will give you, these two files here. Now, we can, if we go on to Market Tycoon straight away, use these to create um, a new object. So the way we do that is onto Steam Workshop tool, make sure everything's loaded, item, and this is in the Pepsi file, I'll just go on to it again so you can see that. So this is the file here. So there's the OBJ. Uh, you will have to play around. Generally speaking, if it's an object like this, this will be the top of the can, this will be the middle, so we'll go to texture. And there we have our can. Now, I'm not going to be doing Pepsi because I've already done that. We'll come on to that in a second. Now, because I've already uploaded the, uh, the Pepsi can, I've got no reason for it. And just as an example here, right, if we go back, if I type in something like 7up, There is a 7-Up can, but it's $11. Another one there, $14. Another one there, $19. But we've got an easier way to do that. So what we'll do is jump onto, which I already have, Google, uh, typing in 7-Up can label, and what you're looking for is one like this, which is perfect. So we'll grab that, and what we'll do is we will save image as. Uh, for now, it can go in tin 1. This is my sort of generic one-size-fits-all sort of thing. And what we need to do now is go onto your desktop, create a new folder under the name, this every upload you do needs its own folder, so we'll call this one 7up. Now in this 7up folder we need a couple of things. Firstly we need the 7up JPG, that can go across there. Second thing we need is the object, so that one there. So although it says Pepsi Soda Can we don't worry about that, so we'll copy that and paste that in there. So now in our 7up folder we've got what was in the Pepsi folder, except with the 7up JPG. So back onto the game again. Now before we create it, I want to show you something really quick, because this was the bit that was really confusing me for ages. We'll start a new game very quickly. So mini markets fine, doesn't really matter which one. The one thing that was confusing me was how to get multiple items to fit on a shelf, because no matter what I did it seemed to be the same amount. So the first thing you need to do with any object is have a look at a rough comparison one just to see how many the vanilla game has got on a shelf. Once you've got that, it's very, very simple. So, loading, loading, loading. So, no, we don't need the tutorial. I'm just going to stick a shelf down here really quick. I set a rack. That one's absolutely fine. That can go over here. And what we'll do is we'll grab some sort of beverage. Uh, so these flat ones here, these I'm going to be, re be replacing at some point. They're not mine, they're ones that I found which prompted me to do this. So, here's cola soda, that'll do. So we'll stick some of those on a shelf. And what we're looking at here is how many they've got across. The, bearing in mind these are vanilla. So we're looking here, eight across. Okay, that's perfect. So we'll jump back into the main screen again. Quit to main menu. So we know we're aiming for eight across for it to look right on the shelf. Okay, so back onto Workshop now, onto Tools. And this time we're going to be Object, Upload, 
Now we're still in Pepsi at the moment, so we'll change that to the 7up file. And we're going to be using the .obg, there's our can. Down the bottom here we'll use the 7up, and there we have an authentic can of 7up. So go to next. Now on this screen here, it's very, very simple. The very first thing we're going to do on the left hand side here is force ground placement, otherwise you'll see it will be underneath. So, that's fine. And we're also going to turn it around slightly as so the 7-ups at the front, so that will be on the Y axis. Might take a complete spin. There we go. Right, so that's looking a lot better. Right, now on the, if we click view item on shelf, you'll see at the moment, these cans are absolutely huge. So we don't want that. We'll scale uniformly because the can itself looks fine. It's just absolutely massive. We'll bring this right down. Now I've found with this one already, it's around about 0.65. It'll vary according to yours, but if we now look at the item on the shelf, you'll see what we got here. We got six across. Okay, we're getting getting more like it. So bring it down slightly more. 0.6. That's still six across. Alright. This is a bit that just takes a little bit of playing around, so that's only five there. So bring it down again. And here we have eight across. Right, I'm just going to see if I can get it slightly bigger than that. How many is that? Nope, that's only seven, so it does need to be around about 0 0.5. Okay, nope. touch under. Okay, so it is about 0 0.49 then. Yep, so that's given eight on the shelf, which is what we have with the beer cans. So we go to next. Enter name. Right, this is going to be seven up. Um, with the prefix, depending on what you're making, bearing in mind this is just the um, the soda can tutorial, this is going to be can of, which is very simple. Category, very important, it's going to be under beverages of course. There's never a subcategory at the moment. Number multiplier, so on a shelf there's going to be 8 across and 4 downs, so that's going to be 1632. So, Make it nice and simple. Item buy price. Well, I want these selling at um, 99 cents each, which is converting it in my head very quickly because we're going to be about a third profit. That's going to be about 0 0.62. Selling price 0 0.99, which is perfect. So that's a dollar again. Uh, how often would an average person buy this? Well, the Pepsi, I said two to three times a week because Pepsi is a very, very popular one. This, I always say, once a week is about right. You know, it's not a hugely popular item, but people will buy 7up. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, Pepsi I put at 6 because it's a very popular drink. 7up, not so much. I'm so going to bring that down to about a 3. Now, shelf life. This is very important. Now, with the soda cans, of course, they can go in the fridge. Um, so, on the shelf, we'll, we'll say 360 days it will last a year. In the fridge, 360 as well. This isn't a freezer item, so we'll put 0 for that. So, that means this will go in the fridge or on the shelf. So, last thing is on the bottom right here, this is how it will display in the menu. So we want a nice big picture inside that yellow box. There we go, lovely. And next, description is 7up can and start uploading. Right, so what we do with this, it needs to be the folder itself rather than the little bits inside it, which is our one called 7up. Success! Right, give me a couple of seconds, we'll jump onto Steam. So onto Steam now, if we have a look at the Market Tycoon Workshop. Bit size to load. And we have a look at Beverages, which is where we just put it. We will see somewhere around here... Our 7up can, there we go. So what we need to do with this, we must do this, is subscribe to it, otherwise it won't show. And we now need to restart the game. If you don't restart it, it won't show up either. Right, so just start up a very, very simple game here. We'll go on to items menu. There's 7up straight away. There we go. We'll put some on the shelf. If we press control and the left, look, we can change the amount. So we'll stick some in there. We'll stick some in the fridge as well, just to see how it looks. And what we'll do is just get the van to go and get some, and we'll see how it looks on the shelf. Right, so the van's come back with two boxes, we'll just watch this really quickly. And there are our lovely little 7-up cans. So anyway guys, hope that helps, impress me with what you can come up with. That's a very, very simple way of doing cans, you can also do the same with tins, it's, it's all 
pretty much the same. If you need any help, drop me a message in the comments.